Hi all, this is Dr. Amala and in today's session we will learn how to make a Shastika Lepa. As we all know Shastika is a Snigta Brimhana Lepa and this preparation is quite different from the ones you prepare for the Potli Sweta. Here the much difference, the most common difference is the Kashaya with which we cook the Shastika. For the normal Potli Sweta or the Shastika Shalipinda Sweta we use Bala Mulakwata but being a part of this cosmetology procedure it would always be better if we can replace it with the varnia kashaya or something which is beneficial for your skin the kashaya which has to be taken depends on the availability of the medicines the cost of which at which you are planning to give the treatment and also if the patient has some skin conditions we will see a basic preparation of shastika lepa because uh, you will understand that in this session i'm not using any milk for the preparation of this lepa because we all know Shastika by its nature is Snigta. So if we add milk to it, it will still be more Snigta and most of the oily type of skin people, there are chances that they might get a pimple. So in this, it's a very basic version of Shastika Lepa. In the coming videos, we'll see some more premium versions as we call it, which can be uh, specific for specific skin type or if you want to have a very special facial or something like that, how we can implement Shastika Lepa in that. To introduce the ingredients, I have taken Shastika. So this is Shastika Shali or uh, what we commonly call as Nyavara. Nyavara. And uh, I have taken Aragwada Churna. So I usually use Aragwada, uh, Nalpamara, then uh, Manjishtadi, Rakta Chandana. Either the Stula Churna or Sukshma Churna can be taken. Then we have water. So moving on to the procedure, we will just see how it is done. First is the preparation of Aragwada Kashaya. So, I am preparing, I am taking 3 spoons of Aragvata Churna and I am adding some water to it. So, you might need a little bit more water, we need not reduce it, it has to be boiled nicely. So the advantage of taking Sukshma Churna is that you need not filter it. You can use the Kashaya as such for cooking this Shastika Lepa. If you are using a Stula Churna, you need to filter it and then just take the Kashaya alone and prepare the Shastika. So because it is for this preparation, I am cooking the Shastika now. How we usually do is, Shastika takes a lot of time to boil. So the previous night, we soak shastika in the kashaya in the boiling kashaya which is put the shastika keep it overnight so that you know by morning it is a bit more easier for it to be cooked otherwise usually it takes around 10 to 12 whistles here uh, if you are soaking it and using it you can get it done by 3 to 4 whistles so this will be easier if you have some procedures to be done on this uh, on that particular day so we'll wait for this uh, kashaya to boil So you can see that the kashaya is boiling. So we will put it in a simmer flame and let it boil for 5 minutes. In the meantime we can wash our shastika and keep it ready. So you can just wash it in normal water. There are, there are chances that there might be some husk for anything. And we are never sure of the quality because most of the time these are being adulterated with some red colors. So it's always better to wash it once or twice in water and then use it. Specifically when it is mentioned for a cosmetic purpose it is always better to be a bit extra safe. So 
so our kashai is done and our shastika is washed and now we will cook this shastika okay so we have taken this uh, we can put it in a pressure cooker so for the ease of showing it i have taken this uh, mini pressure cooker and the amount of rice this much rice is uh, sufficient it will be more than enough for 2 to 3 layers you will get to know the quantity of rice required because with each type of rice you there are different types of navara shastika based on that the cooking time and the consistency also varies so to this we will add this kashaya because i have taken the sukshma churna i am not filtering it i am using it as such so i've kept it to the maximum and uh, let it cook for the so this will be a bit more faster because the kasha is already boiling and i've told you the other other method is you can uh, soak the shastika leka overnight and in the morning with just two whistles two to four whistles your shastika will be cooked so this might take up to half an hour to one hour uh, so we'll just let it cook for the time being and we'll wait the shastika leka is done so we'll take it into this uh, bowl so that you know it is easier for them to apply it so this is the leka i think this will be sufficient for the massage and for the application we have seen the consistency of the shastika lepa if you want to refrigerate it it is always advisable that you keep it a little bit more uh, kashaya in that so that on refrigeration the shastika shali does not get too dry and whenever there is a requirement or the patient is there take the required amount of the shastika lepa boil it in manjushtati or aragvata kashaya make it into a paste in the next video we will see how the procedure of shastika lepa application is done so till then it's bye from dr amala thank you